down here at the Fox Valley Qualifier, checking in with team number 16252, Rutro Robotics. I like that team name. Uh, we're here with uh, the winners uh, of this competition, and I'm actually going to introduce Liberty here, who's going to introduce the rest of her teammates and talk about some of the cool robot features on Behind the Bot. Cool elevator, uh, neat drive, uh, neat intake as well, too. So, Liberty, take it away. All right, so as mentioned, my name is Liberty, and we are, here is Luke. He's our driver. Uh, Zoe, another driver, is ours. I'm our human player, and this is our coach and human player as well, Nick. So I'll be talking about the lift. Uh, we came up with the lift. Well, first it started off as a one-piece lift. Uh, we thought after our first qualifier, it ended up having way too much sway in the cloth. So we extended it to two pieces so it wouldn't have as much sway. And we came up with, or we thought this would be the best idea. We started off with two um, prototypes, a scissors lift and a linear slide. And this would be the fastest, best way we could do what we needed to do. Just a quick question for you on that. As you, you talked about some iterations that you went through this, uh, I noticed when it went up way high, it looked maybe a little top heavy on that. Have you guys had to prepare for that at all? Um, yeah. Not really, because it, it never actually tipped our robot. Sure. The, it could be that it seems that way because it is on the jack stands, and there is not four. There, it's a, like a tripod jack stand. Sure. So. Very cool. Um, so more cool things to talk about this machine. I'm just going to keep passing the microphone down and see what we want to talk about. All right, so right here in the front of our robot attached to our lift is actually our claw mechanism. And this claw mechanism is a rack and pinion style. We had a student who had been a previous FLL student went and he was thinking of designs and he's like, what if we did a rack and pinion? So these pieces on the bot right here and all of these are all 3D printed and designed by our students themselves. We were looking and we couldn't really find anything that we liked, uh, so we went with this one. And at our original competition, we didn't have these bearings here, but we realized that because of the aluminum versus the 3D printing, it was scraping really badly and slowing down our, our uh, speed. So to counteract that, we actually added in these bearings and a few other things just to help protect the stones as well. So looking at this machine on here, uh, a lot of neat aesthetic features as well, too. I mean, so I got to ask, I'm going to guess it's a little bit Scooby-Doo themed. Is that right? So very, very cool uh, on this bot as well, too. Uh, I want to focus on this capstone that you have here next, which is pretty unique and interesting. So why don't you run down uh, why you chose this capstone and what makes it truly unique? So we got the idea for this capstone from a building in Taipei called Taipei 101 that has a tuned mass damper in it which it transfer the energy from the tower swaying into a weight inside of the tower. So it'll, basically we chose this idea because if we stack our stones high, um, it will stabilize the, the stone tower better. And there's a, two, there's a damper in there that we have to tighten every once in a while so that it, it's at the perfect, um, you know, tightness for the, yeah, for it to work. So looking at this machine, uh, I want to kind of wrap up. Uh, one thing I, I do want to call it a little bit is this interesting uh, zip tie slapper mechanism that you guys have on the front here. So, and then we're going to wrap up with the drive. So why don't you give us a rundown on that? Uh, so looking after our first regional, we noticed that the kind of definition of being parked in a zone was very vague. So looking at what we could do, we ended up just mounting a zip tie on a servo. Um, it's flexible enough. It doesn't have any resistance. It can be hit. It can be beat. doesn't matter. We can simply drive up and drop it down either under the bridge and autonomous to park or going at the end game and parking in the building zone. It's something incredibly simple. It took us less than five minutes to create. and. It's worked really well and I've had a lot of success with it. Um, it works kind of in tandem with our drive base, so we actually kind of went with a slide drive, um, something you'd see in FRC. Um, we have side-to-side -side motors, so we'll set that on the ground and show you. So we have a forward and side-to-side, -side, as if it was a normal tank, and then we can also do full diagonal motions uh, kind of similar to how Mechanum Drive works, and then we can turn from that. So you mentioned Mechanum Drive, and that's the thing i got to ask you about this. When you look at holonautic motion in regards to the robots, uh, why did you go this route instead of a Mechanum Drive? Um, a big benefit of it is looking at the autonomous. Um, being Having FRC experience means that I kind of know a little bit about how autonomous uh, is done. So I saw the benefit of saying, 
um, looking at slide drive and being able to turn on a point and being genuinely faster and easier to position and maneuver during the match. Um, there's been a lot of benefit with that too. It allows us to maneuver around our alliance partners during the match a lot easier and it has more resistance than just typical mechanum drive. Rut Row Robotics looking absolutely fantastic. Winners here at the Fox Valley Qualifier here in Wisconsin. Looking for big things out of this team as they move in the future. Good luck the rest of the competition season. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.